In this tutorial series, I will show you how to create a true first person character in Unreal Engine. First, I would like to say that it took me a year to find the solution. Of course, there have been many tutorial series for a true first person before, but not for true first person with good weapon sway and procedural animations. So it would be very great support if you would like to support me and this tutorial series with the channel membership. All expert developer channel members receive the project files for every new tutorial and also from this one. So let's get started. For this project we will use ALS. ALS is the advanced to commercial system and it is free on the Unreal Engine marketplace. But there's one problem. The ALS in the marketplace is not replicated so it doesn't work for multiplayer but on github there is a free version called ALS replicated and that is for multiplayer and it is replicated so let's download it by clicking on code and download zip the link is in the video description okay now let's create a new blank project so first we will set our project location I'm gonna say for my project I create a new folder called true first person tutorial select folder and then I'm gonna set my project name true first person tutorial oh that's so long true person person true first person tutorial let's hit create so now we have a blank and we'll enter project so now let's add the ls replicated there so let's go into our content folder for project then let's open up the zip file we just downloaded and also search for content and here we have the advanced locomotion so now let's copy this into our content browser now we have the advanced locomotion in our project so let's open up the level the demo level all right now we have the advanced locomotion system but you can see when i want to look around or walk around it doesn't work so we have to set up our inputs and that is also pretty easy we just go back to our zip file Go back, click on config, and here we have the default input. So let's open up our project, also go to config, and then let's just copy default input into our config folder and replace. Now we have to restart our project here. And now you can see every input is working, we can walk around, we can look around, and ALS is working. But you can see we're not in first person yet, so let's set up first person. So for this, we need to go to Blueprints, Character Logic, and let's duplicate the ALS NMN. Let's call it TFP for True First Person, Character BP. Okay, let's go to Viewport. And ALS is using a camera manager, so we have no camera here in our components. So we need to disable this in some way. So we click on TFP Character Cell and we search for tags. And here you can see we have one tag called ALS character. Let's remove this. And now the ALS camera manager is disabled and now we can add our first person camera. So go to mesh, click on add, camera. Let's call it FP camera. Let's set the parent socket here to FP camera and then tick use pawn control rotation. Now compile and save. And now we have to select our pawn class. So go to world settings there, select game mode. And on our default pawn class, we search for TFP character BP. So when we hit play, you can see we're in first person. We can walk around, we can look around, but you can still see there's a little problem with the turn in place so it's not turning directly so let's set it up so for this let's go back to our character blueprint go to the event graph and here's the event tick graph so let's add a new node here reset rotation mode and make sure you select the BPI set rotation mode the new rotation mode will be aiming and now our rotation problem is fixed. Nice. 
So now we have ALS in first person, but now let's create another thing that we need in the following episodes, and that is called spine rotation. Okay, so now let's set up something for our character. So we go back to advanced locomotion, character assets, mannequin skeleton, and here we have the ALS animal P. Let's duplicate this one here and let's call it true first person and then BP. Then let's go into the anim graph and here's our anim graph. So before the result here, we will add one node. Layered blend per bone. So um, later we will create first person animations for our upper part. Um, so we use the bottom animations for our legs from ALS and the top ones we will create ourselves because we want guns and weapons and something like that. So now let's set up this node. So go to layer setup, index and let's create another index there. We call the bone name. The bone name is spine01 and the blend depth 0. When we hit compile, you can see my legs are still playing the ALS animation, but my upper body is playing no animation here. So later we will call our animations, our made animations here, and then they blend together nicely. Okay, so now let's select our new anim blueprint in our character. So go to your character, click on your mesh, and then we set the anim class to TFP anim BP. And you can see my legs are still playing the LS animation, but my upper body isn't. And you also can see that my upper body isn't rotating when I look up, for example. It's always looking forward. So now let's add spine rotation. So when I look down, my upper body gets rotated down, and when I look up, it gets rotated up. Okay, so first we have to set up one variable in our character blueprint. So go to the event graph, and then again in the event tick, we will create the event. So create a new variable called spine, spine rotation pitch, and that is a float. Then we will set it here in the event tick graph. Now we will get our up and down value. So get look up and down. Then we will add our pitch to it again. And then we will clamp this range. And um, yeah, now it's so now let's add a clamp here. And the range will be minus 30 and 30. And that is because we have three spines and we will layer this value on our three spines. So our looking range is minus 90 and 90. And 90 divided by three is 30. So that is this value here. So let's put the return value into the spine rotation. And that is our val variable here. So save it, then go to the anim blueprint, then look for the update graph here. And now let's create a sequence. And then right click, try get the pawn owner. Then we cast to the true first person character. And now let's get our new variable the spine rotation pitch. So let's promote this to a variable, like so. And now let's implement this variable. Okay, so let's go back into the anim graph. So now let's add a new node, transform modify bone. All right, let's set it up. The translation pin not, not exposed and not exposed, only the rotation one. And for the rotation mode, we set add to existing. And now let's copy this to 
couple more times. So we have, we have three nodes here. Like so. It will automatically create this component to local and local to component node here. Now let's get our variable spine rotation pitch. Let's say make rotator. And this will be the X. And now plug this variable into the rotation. Now let's compile and save. And now we have to set up our bones here. So the first one will be spine 0, 1. Second one, spine 0, 2. And the last one, spine 0, 3. So now let's hit play. And now you can see when I look up, my upper body is rotating nicely. Okay, that's nice. That's it for the first episode. So we have a true first person character set up. And in the next episodes, we will create some animations. And um, yeah, I hope you liked this episode. And if you have questions, then you can ask freely in the comments. Or you can join my Discord if you want to meet new people. Or you want to show your projects. Okay, I don't know when I will upload the next episode. But I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Have a good day and bye bye.